Now a word to the next issue of the ProComp head. First I thought I'd take a second. In the valve selection I went with 205 and 160. These are SI's top of the line stainless valves, uh, severe duties. Uh, they're a really good valve for the money. They, Well they're not expensive compared to a lot of other ones but they're probably way more than what these heads ever needed. I was going to show you uh, how good the machine quality is on them. They also come with a factory 30 degree cut. I'm trying to get it. Yeah, you should be able to see that. Um, factory 30 degree cut on the top tells you the consistency of the meat. In other words, if you want to find out how good the machine quality is on valves, when you get a fort, when you get it, when it's got the 45, touch the 30, and what you're going to see is thin on one side and thick on the other. SI's valves are pretty much within the same size. See, here's the 45, that little clip right there is the 30. It's almost the, the same thickness and got a real good blend into the swirl polish with a little bit of taper in the neck. Uh, this is going to cure a problem. Now I'm going to stick them in and show you. This is all. This this head will not handle a 208. It's just too much. That it'd be too close. I mean, this right here just fills it with valves. Uh, that right there is absolutely it. However, going to the 205 valve is going to fix a major problem that we got here. And let me show you and let's set up the camera a little bit different so you can see it better. I don't know if this camera is going to let me show you the, how horrific this is. <laughs> but it's pretty bad, guys. This is a, a hook scribe. This is what I'll use right here to poke holes in ports if it's too thin to see if, you know, I went too far. Now look as I take and I let it slide. Boom, catches it. See that? It stops right there and it'll do it then it'll blend back and it does it in different spots all over the head right there right there and the crap bowl job you know if they just left the damn bowls alone and didn't go in there and do it it would fix half the problem they're going in there and somebody whoever is doing their little bowl blend is doing more to hurt the head so pro comp if you're watching this take some advice don't do the bowls the guys you got doing it are idiots and they're going to hurt the head more because the only way to solve this ridge is to go in here and put from the 202 to the 205. That's going to pull the seat outward more going this way. That'll leave the 70 here so you can go back in there with a cast iron burr like you've seen me do in my other videos and grind at about a 30 degree angle on this iron seat right on this ridge to where it digs into the aluminum. Then you can take a, an aluminum burr that the paddles aren't so far apart and touch it and roll the bowl so that it's got a transition and comes right over the side. I mean, this head is just full of this with the ports. Um, we can zoom over here to this one and you can see each one is, you know, is terribly, is bad. They're just all over the place, the little hook and the catch. And the only way, like I said, with a 202, you just can't get enough ground out out of the 70 to roll this and let it come into the bowl. Okay, now the next thing, of course, which you see my other 190 head, the rest of the stuff we're just kind of going over. Um, I'll go in here, take the guides out, bring them down, reshape all the boss. But the difference in this head and the other set is absolutely going to be the 205 straightening the bowl out, which the other head couldn't do because uh, the customer had done bought the valves. I had tried very much to <clears throat> get him to go to the 205 valve, but he didn't want to do it. But um, uh, John and Peter went along with my recommendation, and they let me go to the bigger valve, which let me straighten this up. Got a considerable amount of combustion chamber work I have to do to straighten out all this stuff. But anyway... That's our conclusion. This is going to be, if you would, a stage 4.5. I've never called it that before. 
but this is where we take the 190, put the 1206, raise the roof of the 210, go in here with the 205, straighten the bowls out, and then contour all that, and it's going to make a pretty good head. It won't be as big as the 210s were fully done. It'll probably be about 10 cc's less, but it'll have the straight entrance and the bowl problem solved, which probably make for about 20 to 25 CFM over one that does not have that done. All right, that's all for right now. I will go ahead. The next step is to begin the cutting and setting up the entrances.